Morning, behind me, Whitechapel, Whitechapel tube station out in zone two in East London. For many years, dating back to 2016, an off-peak tube fare would always cost you £1.50, slightly more in the peak. A peak or off-peak bus fare would always cost you £1.50. Generally, there's this belief that tube journeys are more expensive than bus journeys. But here, there's an amazing anomaly where the tube is now cheaper than the bus. Yes, back in March earlier this year, the cost of a bus fare rose by five pence from £1.50 to £1.55, no matter what the time of day. Tube fares, however, in the peak before 9.30 were quite expensive, but what was good was that a single off-peak journey anywhere within zones two to six also only used to cost just £1.50. But with this year's price increases, that price has now gone up to £1.60 if you travel across two zones, or £1.70 if you travel in three or more zones. But here's the brilliant anomaly. If you're taking a tube journey that stays within one zone, it is still only £1.50. And so for a single zone journey, it is now 5p cheaper to go on the underground than it is on the bus. And I just had to try this out. So I hopped on a 25 bus outside of Whitechapel station and headed east along the Bow Road. You go past Stepney Green station, through Mile End, Bow Road and Bow Church, past the flyover, and then eventually left down to the bus station at Stratford. Let's see how long that's taken and more importantly, confirm how much it's cost. So getting off my number 25 there, number 25 used to be uh, London's busiest, most popular bus route, but then they cut it back a few years ago, so that it no longer goes off the surface, but that's not the case. But I digress, it's 11.39, which means it's taken me exactly half an hour to do Whitechapel, Zone 2, to Stratford, Zone 2, by bus. And outside Stratford Station are some of the swanky new style of ticket machines. A quick tap of your oyster to bring up your journey history reveals that, yep, it's correctly cost me £1.55. Time to whiz back to Whitechapel. So, part two of my journey, I've come back to Whitechapel. Uh, it's now 12.22. Uh, I'll tap in, use the same Oyster card. How quickly can I do the journey and how much will it cost me? And this time we're going by tube, which means taking the district line for two stops, then changing onto the central line. The next station is mile end. Change for the central line. And you ride that for just one stop to take you back to Stratford. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. Okay, there's the little train back outside Stratford Station twice in one day. Uh, tapped out with the same Oyster card, uh, looked at the balance. As you saw on the watch as I came in, it was 12.32, exactly 10 minutes. Add on a couple of minutes to get outside back to the bus station to make it there. It's still only 12 minutes, so it's 12 minutes on the tube and it's half an hour to take the bus. And due to that strange anomaly that now exists that yes, if you travel just one zone on the tube, it is £1.50, whereas on the bus, the same journey is £1.55. So it is 5p more expensive and takes twice as long to go by bus. Another little side note to note is that when Cross Eliz Perp finally opens up, hoping it's early next year, you can make that same journey from Whitechapel to Stratford in just one stop. It'll take it like six, seven minutes, so it'll be even quicker. Whether that £1.50 fare still exists then or not will have to remain to be seen. Uh, my only other thought is, are there any other journeys like this? I chose this one from looking at a map of London because I think that Whitechapel to Stratford is like the longest journey you can do within one zone. I would be intrigued to know. Please put it in the comments if you think there are any other quite lengthy journeys within one zone that you can do on the tube that is quicker and 5p cheaper than the bus. Thanks a lot, uh, press subscribe, smash like, all that good stuff. See you next time, bye.